Hi everyone and I hope you all are doing well. My name is Carolina and I typically post videos on luxury and contemporary handbags and SLGs. But in today's video I wanted to do something a little bit different. Hopefully you guys find it informative and interesting. And that was, um, I wanted to show you guys what I use for my nails because I know pre- 2020 I used to spend hundreds of dollars a month on getting my nails done. Since then I have tried several brands of press-on nails and back in I believe September of last year, so of 2023, I came across a new brand to me. I know they've been out for a while and I decided to give them a try and I'm honestly super impressed. I get compliments on my nails all the time and these nails do last anywhere between two to three weeks for me and I do work a corporate job so I'm constantly typing, I'm constantly washing my hands. So the fact that the nails do last that long is very impressive in my opinion and I do recommend this brand very much. So the brand that I'm talking about is Glamnetic. And the particular nail that I decided to put on for this two to three week period is in the um, colorway Pure Intentions. And this is a short round nail. So um, as I stated, I work a corporate job, so I typically like to keep uh, my nails um, in the round slash almond shape just because with the constant typing I noticed like with the Kiss brand um, if I was wearing nails that were coffin shaped or uh, square shaped they would kind of over time in the areas where I would type a lot they would kind of start rounding out. So I have had these nails on. I showed you guys the application. Um, it's been over 24 hours, so here is the time and the date for you guys to see that it's been over 24 hours. And here are the nails. As you can see, they look great. So, um, here's the thumbs. And like I said, I've had them on for 24 hours. Um, I've been washing dishes. I've been, you know, typing because I was working yesterday when I put them on because I did work from home. And they're on really, really well. And like I said, I do wear these for about two to three weeks depending on... Um, how well they stay on and so in the video that you're about to see you're gonna see how I apply the nail I'm not a nail technician so if I'm doing anything wrong please do not come for me in the comments this is just what I personally do and what works for me to make my nails last the two to three weeks and like I said I've had I haven't had any issues with this brand so far with cracking or anything like that or nails popping off randomly. So yeah, so I will touch base with you guys every few days or if there's no changes with the nails as far as like chipping or anything like that, I will sh show you guys um, in the two to three week mark how the nails look and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So when applying my nails, I typically take a paper towel, some rubbing alcohol, and then the actual nail set that I will be using. So once I get my nails out, I take out all of the um, additions in the nails, such as the alcohol prep pad, the extra nails, the cuticle pusher, the glue, as well as the nail file. And then I will just go in and start 
looking at the nails, trying to find the best match for my nails. So after um, finding all the nails that match my nail bed, I go in and I start filing my actual nails down a little bit, as well as I will go in and file and buff out my actual nail bed as well. I find that this step personally helps me keep my nails on longer, so I get that two to three week period out of each nail set that I use. And then right after I buff out my nail beds, I'll go in with the cuticle pusher and push back all of my cuticles this way. There's nothing hanging in the way or once I apply the nails, there's nothing um, hanging out and making the nails just look Dirty. and then I also go in with the alcohol prep pad then I personally apply the glue directly to my actual nail bed I don't apply it both to my nail bed and to the nail I just apply it to my nail bed and I find this works for me so here you'll see me cover my entire nail bed I make sure there's no spots uncovered and I do put a decent amount of glue on when I do apply the nail glue. And then once I apply the glue, I'll take the nail and I'll firmly press the press-on nail on top of the glue on my nail bed for about 10 to 20 seconds. And like I said, I'm firmly pressing it to make sure that the nail adheres, there's no air bubbles or anything like that and then I just clean off any excess glue that may remain. Here you'll see me repeating that step just at a different angle for you guys. After applying all of the nails, I make sure to um, wipe any excess glue off using the um, alcohol and the paper towel. And then I'll go in and just file down the press-on nails in case there's any um, sharp edges from the press-on nail. And just to essentially make the shape kind of how I would like it to be. Usually, I like the shape as is, so I don't really work too much on this step, but this is just something I do as well.
So here's a close-up of how the nails look, as well as the time and date that I put the nails on. Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick checkup on my nails and let you guys know how my nails are hanging in there. So today is January 28th. And I've had these nails on now for over a week. And so far I have not had any issues with the nails. None of the nails came off. Um, the only thing you might be able to see right here is there's a little bit of a bubble of glue underneath. But other than that, the nails are still on very well. None of the nails are coming off. Here's some close up. With this particular set, I do want to note right here, you might be able to tell some of the sparkles are peeling off. But it's just on that one nail that I have that issue, as well as just some indents on certain nails because like I said um, I do work a corporate job so I do type all day long but that's not something a quick nail file can't fix but yeah so I just wanted to show you guys a quick update on how the nails are holding up and so far everything's been good and I guess I will follow back up this coming Friday which will be two weeks and unless something happens between now and then which I don't anticipate that to happen but I just wanted to show you guys and I will see you guys on Friday. So I'm back today with my final update on my press on nails from the brand Glamnetic. Today is February that'll focus I'm not sure if it will it is February 2nd and it has been a full two weeks um, the nails are still on very securely however I am in the mood to change up the nails I'm sure I could still get at least a couple of days out of these nails if not another week however like I said I'm getting a little bit bored I want to put on another set so yeah um, these nails like I mentioned before this is probably like one of my favorite brands out of all the brands that I've been trying for the past few years um, the only issue I had with this set is um, there's just some peeling of the glitter um, on the thumb and then I noticed on my middle finger at the tip I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up there is just some peeling as well but other than that um, these nails have been great um, like I said I don't know if it's the way that I apply the nails or if it's just the brand in general um, but I've had no issues um, with using Glamnetic um, when I used to use the brand Kiss I would find that my nails would constantly be popping off or um, I used to wear the square shaped nails and I would find that they would kind of lose their shape obviously as I mentioned before <clears throat> I do uh, work a corporate job that's nine to five so I type all day long so that's probably why I do find these nails are a little bit thicker in my opinion than the Kiss brand but yeah I hope you guys found this video informative if you are into press on nails and you have not yet tried the brand Glamnetic I think they're a great brand 
they have so many options they have other shapes as well it's not just the almond or the round shape they have longer nails shorter nails they have even really like super short nails so I hope you found this video informative and if this is this type of content you like definitely leave a comment down below and I can try other brands for you guys if there's any that you guys are interested in seeing if um, those work definitely leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching